Welcome back to Horrors Worldwide. Today I'm going to explain an American horror science fiction film called The Fly, released in 1958. Spoilers ahead! Watch out and stay safe. Outside a factory, a night watchman Gaston hears the sound of a hydraulic press starting. Gaston sees a woman, who he later recognizes as Helene de Lambry, stare at him in surprise. She then runs away. Gaston approaches the press and notices, in horror, that it is covered in blood. A body lays crumpled on the floor next to the press. He recoils in horror and screams. Later, Helene calls her brother-in-law, Francois de Lambry, and tells him that she has killed his brother, André de Lambry, who is also her husband. Francois thinks it is a cruel joke, but changes his mind when Helene breaks down, sobbing, and implores him to call the police and asks him to come quickly. Before he can leave his office, there is another call, this time from Gaston at the factory, who reports a murder. Francois calls an acquaintance at the Anthenium Club, a fellow member, Inspector Charis. He reports the crime, then waits for Charis to collect him at his home. As Charis and the police examine the crime scene, an ambulance team collects André's body. Francois raises the press so what is left of the body can be removed and positively identifies his brother based on a scar on his left leg. Francois and Charis go to see Helene at home. Helene is very calm and voluntarily admits the murder, but won't tell them why she did that. While they were talking, Helene heard the buzz of a fly in the room. She gets up and searches for it. She registers relief when she finds it on a lampshade, and it is only an ordinary fly. Charis makes arrangements with the doctor to provide a police nurse to attend to Helene. Before he leaves, Charis asks Francois to show him the lab. Francois takes him to the basement and shows the place thoroughly. Charis also suggests Francois take charge of his nephew for the time being since Helene cannot do it anymore. The police nurse, Anderson, brings Helene her lunch, then takes her pulse. She sits and occupies her time with her reports and needlepoint. Helene starts eating, then stops when she hears a fly buzzing in the room. The nurse rolls up a newspaper and chases it around the room. The nurse then collects the dead insect and gives it to Charis. In spite of what the doctors think about Helene's mind, Charis believes she is normal and hence intends to charge Helene with murder and the warrant will be issued the next day. Francois is having dinner with his nephew, Philippe. When asked about the life expectancy of flies, Francois responds that he doesn't know. Philippe volunteers that he found the special fly his mother was looking for, one with a white head and leg. Hearing that, Francois then calls Charis but decides not to talk to him. He goes to his brother's house and lies to the nurse to secure a visit with Helene. He tells Helene that he has the special fly and wants the whole story. He finally convinces her to come clean but before she recounts the tale, she insists Charis be present. She demands Francois promise to kill the fly he claims he has. Charis arrives and she tells her story behind the murder. A few months before, Helene and her son were playing in the living room when her husband, André, appeared. When Philippe plays with the family cat, Dandelo, André and Helene go to the basement lab and André proudly shows her all the new equipment. He demands secrecy, then shows her his new line of research. He places an ugly green plate, a wedding present, and a glass and metal container and fires up the machine. The room goes dark and the container glows a bright blue, then a flash of light and the equipment powers down. Helene is surprised by an empty container. They walk to another room and the plate is now in an identical container. Because it's impossible. Fifty years ago, if my father were told he could sit in Montreal and watch a World Series in New York at the exact time it was happening, he'd say it was impossible. This is the same principle exactly. But it's not the same. This is solid. Oh, no, no, it's not. To your touch, maybe it is. But in reality, it's billions of atoms, which we believe are only a series of electrical impulses. André explains the concept to his disbelieving wife. She chuckles, noticing that the matter transference device has one little flaw. Helene points out the Made in Japan stamp on the bottom of the plate is a mirror image. André returns to his desk and begins a review of his work and decides to test the machine again. This time with the newspaper and the transfer is successful. André decides to run a test with the family cat, Dandelo. The saucer of milk transfers fine, but to his horror, the cat fails to appear. He hears only the plaintive echo of the cat's cries in the room. Helene is preparing to go out for the evening that day. André appears and insists they go out together, and when they return, André shows his wife the improvements he has made to the equipment by transferring a bottle of champagne. The label is perfect and the wine is still cold. He then transfers a guinea pig against his wife's objections. The animal appears fine after reintegration. André confesses that his first live animal experiment, Dandelo, was not successful. Helene expresses her concern about the technology and says that she is scared. It has been a month and the guinea pig is fine. André is relaxing out in the garden. Helene joins him. She tells André that Francois is coming to lunch. 
Andre now wants to show Francois what he had created, so tells Helene to bring him to the lab. When Francois comes, Helene takes him to the lab downstairs but encounters a note on the locked door instead of a welcome inside. It says, I am working, do not disturb. Francois comments about the bad penmanship. I got something to show you. I have something to show you. I caught such a funny looking fly. You want to see it? Now you let it go at once. You know how your father disapproves of you catching insects. But this isn't like any other fly I've ever seen. It has a funny white head and sort of white leg. Now you let it go at once. Now go along, do as you're told. Philippe enters the house and tells his mom that he has caught a funny looking fly, which Helene tells him to let go of. Emma tells Helene that Andre is not taking any food, which makes Helene check on her husband. She walks downstairs near the door and picks up a note that was slowly pushed under the locked door from inside. And it says that Andre had an accident with his equipment and he is not in a situation to speak. Then he asks for a bowl of milk laced with rum. She prepares the concoction and returns to the lab, knocking three times to gain entry. Andre lets her in and gives her a note that explains Andre needs her to find a fly with a white head. She remembers Philippe's find from earlier that day. Andre has a black cloth covering his head and keeps his left arm hidden in his lab coat pocket. He slurps up his milk while Helene searches for a fly she knows is not there. She recounts the story her son told her. Andre gets up and his fly arm is revealed, which makes Helene scream in panic. Andre motions her out of the lab, then locks her out. The next morning, Helene wakes up and thinks the whole episode was just a nightmare, but her morning meeting and type note confirm the nightmare is real. Andre explains that his experiment by transmitting himself the first time was successful, but in the second experiment, a fly that Andre did not notice was in the disintegrator with him. When they integrated again, their atoms were mixed. Now Andre's only hope is to find that fly and go through the machine once more and pray the atoms to untangle. Helene then tells Philippe and Emma to find the fly. While looking, they notice the fly with its head and one leg in white color. They carefully approach it, but it flies over to the window. Helene puts out some sugar to attract their prey. Philippe catches it, but it escapes outside through a broken section of the glass. It is now outside and Helene and Philippe search for it. Helene is exhausted and exasperated. She returns to the lab and tells her husband of their bad luck. While he attempts to eat, she reads his next note, that he already knew that she would fail in finding the fly, and now the only option left for him is to destroy everything in himself. She convinces him to transmit himself one more time even without the fly. Transmission is successful, but without the fly, he is the same. She pulls the black cloth away from his face and faints after seeing his fly face. What did you think you'd see, Helene? Andre picks her up and places her on the couch in the lab. He comforts her with his good arm, but can't control his fly arm that means to harm his wife. He goes on a rampage and destroys the delicate electronic equipment. He burns all his notes. Helene wakes and approaches her husband. He retrieves the black cloth and puts it back over his head. Andre then erases the blackboard, then scribbles another note to Helene that there is nothing they can do about his situation, and walks out of the lab to a nearby factory. He starts the press machine and points to the red button. Then he places his head and arm under the press and tells Helene to start the press. The press crushes Andre's fly head, but his arm is still untouched. She resets the press, places his fly arm on the bed, then directs the press down a second time, which crumbles the entire body. Charis doesn't believe Helene completely, but thanks her for sharing the reason why she killed her husband. The next day, Charis returned as promised, with his warrant and an ambulance to transport Helene. When told of her arrest, Helene reacts by asking Francois to show the inspector the fly, to which Francois admits he never had the fly. Francois then takes Philippe outside so he can't witness his mother's arrest. Philippe mentions he saw the fly again on the web. Francois retrieves Charis and walks out into the garden. Charis and Francois see the tiny arm and head on a fly's body and the spider ready to pounce. The tiny thing screams, help me, as the spider covers its tiny victim. Charis picks up a rock and crushes both. Francois accuses Charis that if Helene killed a man with a fly's head, then Charis is also guilty of killing a fly with a man's head. They collectively concoct and agree to a scenario for suicide. Sometime later, Philippe and Helene are playing croquet in the yard. Francois arrives to take his nephew to the zoo. In reply to his nephew's query about his father's death, Francois tells Something she said to ask you. Why did he die? Well, Philippe, he died because of his work. He was like an, like an explorer in a wild country where no one had ever been before. He was searching for the truth. He almost found a great truth. But for one instant, he was careless. That's what killed him? Search for the truth is the most important work in the whole world and the most dangerous. I'd 
like that. I'd like to be an explorer like him. So who do you think went wrong here? Is it Andre's creed or his carelessness? Let us know that in the comments section below. For more horror film recaps, be sure to subscribe, watch our other videos, and click the bell icon to be notified of the next videos. See you in your nightmares.